morning to all of you. Uh, Shri Ganeshwar Mule, Secretary Minister of External Affairs, Shrimati Anuradha Mall, Chief Executive Officer Gujarat State Disaster Management Authority, Sri Anuj Dayal, Executive Director Delhi Metro Rail Corporation, Sri Srijan Pal Singh, CEO, Dr. APJ Abdul Kalam Center, awardees, delegates, invited guests at this Dr. APJ Abdul Kalam Memorial Summit and Awards function. First of all, I'd like to compliment Sri Sijan Pal Singh and his team in Abdul Kalam Center for having instituted Dr. Abdul Kalam Memorial Innovation and Governance Awards to recognize innovation and encourage good initiatives in governance in all spheres. I also thank the organizers for inviting me to this event and recognizing the contribution of National Dairy Development Board in improving the lives of millions of small dairy farmers across the country and bringing about a social econo socio-economic transformation in rural areas in many parts of the country. Before I tell you the, uh, the association which National Dairy Board and Dr. Varghese Kurian had with uh, Dr. APJ Abdul Kalam. Let me give you a bit of a historical perspective and the contribution of the Dairy Board in bringing about changes in the dairy scene in the country. You know, today India is the world's largest milk producer and we are growing at a consistent rate of over 4 and 4.5% over the last se several years. The real credit of this achievement goes to the small milk producers of this country and the vision and leadership given by great visionaries like Sardar Patel, Lal Bahadur Shastri, who, who were responsible to create the foundation for, uh, you know, creating the milk producer institutions in the villages and take forward the journey of bringing about milk revolution in the country, white revolution in the country. So also we should recognize the contribution of Dr. Trivubandas Patel and Varghese Kurian. They all combinedly laid the foundation of the world's largest milk producer institutions which gave market access to millions of milk, rural milk producers and thereby ensured a fair price to them for their produce. You know, Operation Flood, which was the world's largest food aid for development program, was implemented by the Dairy Board 40 years ago and helped transform the country from a milk deficit to a milk, milk self-sufficient country. And we are continuing to work on this mandate to serve the dairy farmers of a country through implementation of the National Dairy Plan, which was mentioned by the host, hostess. This aims to strengthen the institutions which have already been created and expand them to uncover the rural areas. Along with delivery of services to improve the productivity and efficiency in the entire dairy value chain. We are currently working with milk producers in less developed areas. That is our focus now. Reach out to less developed areas of the country which are not covered and where the rural milk producers are yet to get market access and a good price for their produce. Some of these areas include Vidarbha Marathwada in Maharashtra. We have started operations there uh, just a year back. There was no institution there to support the small milk producers of this uh, uh, relatively backward region of Maharashtra in the country. So also we have started operations in Jharkhand 
some of the tribal areas of Jharkhand in inclusive. Parts of northeastern India like Assam, now we are trying to make some changes, bring about some changes uh, in uh, some other states in northeastern uh, states. Parts of Bihar, which were left out. Recently we have promoted a milk producer institution in northwest Bihar, Champaran on the occasion of Mahatma Gandhi's Champaran uh, Satyagraha. Uh, and we have named it Bapudham Milk Producer Company Limited, which is owned exclusively by the milk producers of that region. And you will be amazed to know the kind of response we are getting in that area in the period of four to five months since we started in a very structured and focused manner. More than 10,000 farmers have become members of this and they have contributed share capital of 500 rupees each. And we expect more and farmers to, to, to connect with more and more dairy uh, farmers in that region. And we are collecting about 40,000 liters of milk every day and we are going to set up a dairy plant in that region, in Motihari, which was the epicenter of the uh, Champaran, uh, you know, the movement. Now we are going into areas like Bundelkhand in Uttar Pradesh and, uh, and Madhya Pradesh, which, were, which are, which are uh, uh, stressed in terms of agriculture development. So, and also I would like to mention to you that having been inspired by Mahatma Gandhi's vision of Gram Swaraj. What is Gram Swaraj? It aims at creating autonomous, self-governing and sustainable village communities. So what we have done is that since we have, since the dairy, the, the milk producer institutions, the village level cooperatives are present in 1,70,000 villages out of 6 lakh villages in the country. So we thought that why not try and mobilize the village community and with their active involvement, work around with them and with the society as, as the epicenter, why not try and create a, a kind of a, a change to bring out some change in the entire uh, uh, village. So what we have done is that with the help of certain organizations, including, I'm happy to say, including uh, Dr. Abdul Kalam Center and uh, Mr. Sijan Pal Singh was kind enough to have visited there and helped us in setting up a small rural library which is uh, attached to the village school. And uh, I would like to, I would like to, uh, we'd like to show you an audio visual uh, soon. Uh, about uh, this particular initiative you have undertaken. And you can imagine the kind of impact which can be made by uh, spreading out to, spreading this idea to other villages in the, in this country. Now about coming to association with Dr. A.B.J. Abdul Kalam, we are fortunate to receive him in Anand on two occasions. Once during the convocation of Institute of Rural Management, IRMA's convocation. And also he came to deliver a lecture. In, 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 in National Dairy Development Board in 2004. And in, I would like to mention to you that in his book, Transcendence, My Spiritual Experiences with Pramukh Swamiji, Dr. Kalam shared his deep ab admiration for DDB and Dr. Vagis Kurian in particular. And we are proud that he had listed, he had mentioned Dr. Kurian's name as one of the uh, people he admired. Uh, and uh, I've not, uh, and, the, and they just said interesting uh, and very inspiring things about Vagis Kurian. Uh, so now, so uh, so we have got close association. We believe that we have got strong close association, and we uh, continue to be inspired by his uh, vision in bringing about sustainable all-round rural development. And we stand committed to realize our shared dream. I, I quote again, I would like to quote, where people can live in a clean, free environment without pollution, prosper without poverty, experience peace and development without fear of conflict and have a happy place to live. 
the lives. I once again thank the organizers for inviting me to this event and recognizing the contribution of NDDB in nation building and it will further strengthen our commitment and resolve to work for the improvement in the quality of life and livelihoods of farmers in the country. Thank you very much.